the whole program of zero emissions NUSA, it's not, it's not just about batteries. Um, there's many more things we do. And, and when I saw, I don't know how many, many of you saw the 7.30, I know it was the Australian story report on, uh, on Saul Griffiths, but uh, there was quite, kind of like a light bulb moment for there because lots of things we do in zero emissions NUSA, it seemed like what he was saying brought it all together because we're, we're about, we're about uh, reducing emissions from transport, which make up about a third of the emissions in Noosa. So that's why we focus <coughs> on things like that with the Electric Vehicle <coughs> Expo and the like. The activities we do in the electricity area, say like the promotion of solar and now with the work with community batteries and Viv's done extraordinary work on, on solar for strata project. So we work in all those areas, but, but it just seemed to me that this concept of rewiring Australia brings it all together. And so I'll just ask Mark Purcell, uh, who's a real advocate of this, to say a few words. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. Um, and great to see so many people here and, and a lot of interest and community engagement about what we're talking about here. Um, what I'd like to share with you today is my journey on home electrification. So we've been talking a lot about the community battery. We heard Sandy Bolton talk earlier about, well, you need to do things for yourself. And, and what I'll talk about through my journey of electrification is some of the benefits, um, some of the costs, and, uh, and really what it, what it looks like. And I'd, I'd welcome you to consider your own household, your own home, and think about some of the things that I'm talking about and what may you be able to do in your own household. You don't have to go as crazy as I have. I, I, I'm definitely on this end of the spectrum in terms of electrification. But I hope by the end of my session here, you will see the real benefits of actually heading down that way. But you don't have to do that. You can do some modest things in, in, the, in the first step and, uh, and take it on uh, from there. Um, the story that I'm going to talk about is really a story about Australian abundance. We have so much potential for renewable energy generation in this country. It's just, it's just amazing. We just have vast wind resources. In Queensland, we don't actually have much wind generation, but that's changing a little bit with some of the state government activities. Um, Queensland, we're the sunshine state. Um, we actually have a really unfair geographic advantage, not only to the rest of the country, but actually the rest of the world. We have so much sunshine that hits Queensland. We are the sunshine state. And what a beautiful thing. You can turn that into energy. You can run your household, you can run your community, you can run other bits and pieces. Um, as Jeff mentioned, I, I took a lot of my inspiration from Rewiring Australia. Uh, Dr Saul Griffiths, if you haven't seen that Australian story, I'd, I'd thoroughly recommend it. One of the things that really inspired me about what he was talking about was getting a local community group together. Um, Saul Griffiths lives in Wollongong. He lives in the postcode 2515. He's got an Electrify 2515 community campaign going on. In fact, he's convinced the New South Wales Matt Keane to run pilots in three uh, uh, postcodes around New South Wales. And I'll talk a little bit about what that means. And then I'll talk and I'll finish up with an Electrify Noosa, an Electrify 4566, 4567 campaign. And what could that look like? How could we, in the Noosa region, get a similar community thing going along? Um, my, my journey on electrification really started with my car. Um, I had a climate change event. Um, I had a hail storm, a, a hail storm that wrote off my, my diesel car. And uh, I went out looking in the market. I was pretty ignorant around the whole, the, the whole thing about sustainability and sustainable energy. And I ended up purchasing an electric car, not for the sustainability aspects, but for the technology aspects. So I'm very much a technologist. I then started looking into it and I went, wow, this is amazing. The operating costs are virtually zero. I can do exactly what I can do, could do before, but the operating costs are phenomenal. And then I started looking into some of these other, other sustainability aspects. I looked into solar and I went, wow, this is amazing. I should have done this 10 years ago. The best time to install solar was 10 years ago. The second best time to do it, if you haven't done it already, is today. Um, and so I looked into solar and I went, so hang on, I can run my really cheap car off my own generated energy and I'm not importing fossil fuels from overseas um, to do it. This is, this is fantastic. I then started looking further into it. I looked at how my house was being heated, my space heating. Um, I had a natural gas connection. Again, I transferred that from a natural, uh, a natural gas into a reverse cycle air conditioning. And my, and my uh, heating bills um, dropped by about 75%. It was phenomenal. Similarly with my hot water service at home, had bottled gas hot water. 
and uh, I transitioned that as well. And, uh, and, and so I'm now running a, a, a heat pump for my hot water service. And again, my hot water bills plummeted by 75%, 95% if you have solar. So there's a whole financial series of benefits with transitioning your home uh, into, into an all electric thing. Um, my personal circumstances, my situation, I'm saving $10,000 a year on my utility bills. Not just one year, every year I am saving $10,000 a year on my electricity bills. Uh, Rewiring Australia um, have done a bit of a study. Uh, they looked at the census data, the number of houses, solar penetration. They have calculated and modelled for the Wide Bay uh, electorate, where we all are, each house, or sorry, not each house, the average savings for houses in Wide Bay, if they do go through this electrification process, is around $4,000 a year. That includes the installation costs. So that's $4,000. That's not saving one, one off $4,000 a year. That's every single year you will save $4,000 if you electrify your house. They also calculate that that's local jobs. We need people to install these systems, the solar systems, the hot water systems, the air conditioning. They have calculated for Wide Bay that we're talking about 1,800 jobs, 1,800 local jobs for the region. And the beauty of all of this is it's zero emissions. If we did that across Wide Bay, if we had all of those houses transitioned, if each house in Wide Bay or the average house in Wide Bay was saving $4,000 a year, we would transition the household energy consumption load of those houses to zero emissions. That brings in not only the financial benefits, that $4,000 a year of savings, but also a whole range of non-financial benefits. If you're not burning fossil fuels in your house for your cooking or your hot water or, or, or your heating, um, that has huge health benefits for you and your family. You're not um, burning uh, carcinogens or having carcinogens in your household. Um, there's sustainability um, benefits. If you are generating electricity locally, and uh, sharing that with your neighbours, you're not pulling out electricity um, from, from power stations hundreds and hundreds of kilometres away, which is what we're doing today, every day in Noosa. Uh, there's also the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the fossil fuel um, coal and uh, gas generation. And uh, I'm fortunate I have a battery in my household. Um, yesterday it was a pretty sunny day in, in, in Noosa, so I was generating a lot of uh, solar energy on my rooftop but so was everybody else. We saw the duck curve. What happens when everybody's generating a lot of electricity is the wholesale price of energy actually goes down. It goes down really, really low. In fact, yesterday at midday, the wholesale price of electricity hit zero cents. So yesterday at midday, I was charging my battery, I was heating my hot water, I was running my air conditioning for no cost, zero cost for electricity. I filled up my battery during the day, and then at night time, in that duck curve that you saw at six o'clock, the sun went down, everybody started cooking dinner, everybody's still running their air conditioning. I started exporting from my battery. And every kilowatt hour that I was exporting from my battery was a kilowatt hour from a coal-fired or a gas-fired power station in Queensland that I was displacing from the grid. And so I find this absolutely fascinating, absolutely amazing. Um, one of the energy companies I deal with estimates that there's 155,000 home batteries across Australia. And if all of those home batteries did what I t just told you about yesterday, if they charged up during the day and if they exported at six o'clock, we would take three gas-fired power stations offline overnight, immediately. The opportunities are huge. The opportunities for your individual circumstances are there. You will save a tonne of money. I'm proof positive of that. I'm very happy to talk about people in the panel session and explore whatever dimensions of this you want, you want to go to. The financial benefits, the non-financial benefits, the health benefits, the environmental benefits, the sustainability benefits, it really makes a lot of sense. Thank you for your time.